when you get into a, a line of work, you tend to convince yourself that you are right. And, and as you go along, you, you completely convince yourself that you're right. So my colleagues pointed this out to me and said, you've been doing some brilliant work for 10 years, but you're on the verge of saying that groups of children unsupervised can do anything. Now, isn't that a bit too much? <laughs> so, so I decided that uh, I must resolve this. So I designed an experiment, which I carried out in an Indian village, a tsunami-hit village in India, uh, a bit of a cruel choice, but I, I chose it because uh, fr fr from the experimental design point of view, it was perfect. The village had been wiped clean. There were barely any adults left in there, just a few children and their mothers, uh, all fisher folk, Tamil-speaking children. They, they don't know any English whatsoever. The local primary school smashed, and a small temporary structure constructed. So in that village, I put a hole-in-the-wall computer, one of these street-side computers. And as I, as I knew from before, the children, of course, quickly taught themselves how to use it. Into that computer, I, well, I made an assumption. The assumption was that Tamil-speaking eight-year-olds in an Indian tsunami-hit village will not be able to teach themselves DNA replication and biotechnology in English on their own. So I said, well, I, <laughs> I, said, I, will, now, I will now illustrate the, the limits to this kind of learning. And yes, it will be a ridiculous experiment, but I'll come back and say they got a zero in their pretest, they got a zero in their post-test, they can't do this. They need teachers to do this. So I loaded my biotechnology material off the web into this computer. Now here's the, here's the way the method goes. I called about 20 children, and they're between 8 and 12 years old. And I said, you know, I, I've just put in some, some stuff into this computer. It's all in English. It's, it's a very interesting subject, but I don't know if you'll be able to follow any of it. Now, I'm going to leave it here for a little while. and. Uh, well, if you can't get the hang of it, never mind. But if you can, I'd like to come back and hear what you did. So I left it there for two months, and I came back. Uh, when I came back after two months, I called the 20 children, and the reaction this time was a bit different. Normally, when I go back to a village after a few months, the children come rushing and, oh, guess what we found? We've downloaded this game. There's that MP3 that's wonderful. Etc. This time they weren't doing any of that. They're very quiet. <laughs> they came and sat down in a in a classroom, and I said, "Well, um, did you look at that the thing that I put on the computer?" They said, "Yes." And did you understand anything? They said, "No, nothing." So well, there it goes. So I said, "Well, so what did you do? You kind of looked at it and didn't follow anything." So then they said, "No, we looked at it every day." So now that that was thank God somebody said that because. That, uh, you know, that gave me a clue. So you didn't understand a word of what you were looking at, and for two months you looked at this every day. So upon which a 12-year-old girl raised her hand, and she said, I'll, I'll tell you uh, sort of a literal translation, she said, apart from the fact that improper replication of the DNA molecule causes genetic disease, we've understood nothing else. <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> So that, that was my introduction to the new children's education. <laughs> so what does it mean? You know, these children who think they learned nothing at all, um, uh, you know, it was completely different. I pre- and post-tested them, and they'd gone from 0 to 30% in the post-test. Not a great score, but 30% is absurd in the context. Tamil-speaking children studying biotechnology in English off a street side computer in two months. How could it happen? I've, I found out how it happened, and uh, there's too little time to tell you the whole story of the, the, the pedagogical methods by which they got there. But the next part of the story is very important. I then uh, selected a local girl. Uh, she's about 24 years old. She's very friendly with the children. And I said, listen, can you do me a favor? Can you just uh, you know, be there and sort of egg them on? So she said, what do you mean? I don't know any biotechnology. I said, you don't need to know any biotechnology. You have to stand there like a grandmother and say, I don't know how you, how you managed to do that. Or I, I, I really couldn't figure that out myself. That was really clever what you did. What is that little diagram over there? Just keep admiring the process. 
She did that and took the scores up in two more months to 50%. Now, 50% is clearing the exam. These are GCSE level questions in biotechnology.